Hey there! This is a new series of videos in a few minutes where I will explain a different concept in airline, aircraft, or aviation industry or aerospace industries. Here, in a few minutes, you'll learn more about aircraft engines. There really only are three types of uh, aircraft engines piston, turbine, and electric. Piston and turbine absolutely dominate the aircraft industry because currently they produce way more power than the electric engines, but the electrics are catching up pretty quickly. So, what's the uh, what's the commonality be between piston and turbine engines? How are they similar? Where well, they both operate with the same basic fundamental concept, in which you have a gas, usually air, mostly air actually, and you compress it because it gives you more in the same volume, and you add fuel to this gas and ignite the mixture, which on ignition expands in volume greatly, and this significant expansion in volume is the ability to do some work. So, in a piston engine, you have a piston inside a cylinder connected to a shaft by means of a crank and when you add the fuel and gas mixture and you ignite the mixture the gas expands causing the, f the piston to go up and down which because of the crank causes the shaft to rotate. This rotation of the shaft at the other end is obviously the ability to do some work. So if we put a uh, propeller at the front end as shown here in yellow you get uh, the propeller producing some thrust and hopefully this thrust will cause the engine and the rest of the aircraft to move ahead. This is the basic idea behind a propeller engine. As you can imagine, one cylinder attached to one propeller gives us some power but we can multiply that power by adding more cylinders. And this is the idea behind, or the, this is the difference behind most piston engines in that the types of piston engines depends on the line or the type of arrangement of the cylinders. So you have inline, in which all the cylinders are in line, V-type, in a V, flat, which is horizontally opposed, radial, in which case the cylinders are, uh, are arranged in a neat circle. There are other types, the rotary, H, X, and U, but these are mostly variants of these four major types. In real life, they look like this. The inline, as you can see, four cylinders in a straight line, V-type, in a V, flat, horizontally opposed, although I do believe this is an H engine, not just a flat engine, and the radial. Of course, I drew six cylinders, there are seven. Now, what about turbines? Well, as time went on and aircraft got heavier, the idea of putting gas inside a turbine was found to be not producing enough power to propel heavier aircraft. So, what we did was moved on with a different kind of engine where we take that same gas and put it inside a compressor which looks less like this and more like this. Anyway, when you compress that gas and you put it through a combustor which is a flame holder in which you put fuel and ignite the mixture and when you ignite the mixture of course the gases expand again and they are pushed through a turbine which rotates the turbine and the gases, the hot exhaust gases exit after the turbine. You put this whole thing in a little mixture, in a little package, sorry, and connect it to the compressor and the turbine by a shaft inside a cowling and you have your basic turbine engine. Now if you use the gases, the exhaust gases by themselves to propel the aircraft, this is your basic turbojet. If you however put a shaft in front of the turbine engine and attach a propeller, then this is your turboprop engine. Instead of a propeller, if you attach a large fan, this becomes your turbofan engine. Instead of putting a prop or a fan, however, if you put another shaft, you gear it up and attach large blades to it, you have a helicopter which is your basic turboshaft engine. In real life, they look like this. This is the turbojet. Notice there are no fans up there. These are just the blades of the first stage compressors. Uh, compressor. Turboprop. This is a huge prop attached. Just see how big that prop has to be to generate enough thrust. This is the turbofan. As you can see, the fan is much, much bigger than the first stage compressor. This little package is actually this little package right here. The fan is enormous. This is a turbo shaft engine, but within limits because I've only shown a photo where you can only see the very front of that shaft. The shaft that is geared upwards is not shown here. All right, lastly, we come to electrics. These are only used today in UAVs, air RC aircraft, radio controlled aircraft, or small aircraft. Why? Because they don't produce enough power. The basic principle is the same though. You want the shaft to rotate so you can rotate a fan or a prop or whatnot or another shaft. But the motor, the electric motor here, is powered by electricity. And where does this come from? Today, it only comes from batteries or solar panels. 
there are other means to generate this electricity but today we cannot fit the whole package on an aircraft and make it small enough and efficient enough that the power is high enough to propel a large aircraft. So we've covered the basics behind three types of engines piston which contains these four main subtypes, turbine which contains these four subtypes and electrics which currently have no subtypes. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video it was my first in a few minutes series. Of course, there'll be more coming along. Please do comment and subscribe to my channel. And please suggest your ideas for a video. I love receiving ideas. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have fun.